In his pursuit to absorb and translate an encyclopedic array of Japanese ceramic techniques within his oeuvre, Kita Ojiro Sanjin sought support and inspiration from a community of ceramic artists and scholars, who together were actively rediscovering and revitalizing historic ceramic techniques and traditions. Through collaborations and eventually rivalries, this network of ceramic masters would profoundly change the face of modern Japanese ceramics. A renowned connoisseur and scholar of historical Chinese and Japanese ceramics, and a ceramist in his own right, Koyama Fujio was a head curator at Tokyo National Museum and served on numerous associations promoting Japanese ceramics, including the Japan Crafts Association and the Japan Ceramic Society. He was instrumental in the creation of the Living National Treasure Certification System. Koyama Fujio worked with Rosanjin early in his career, inspiring him to pursue ceramics. Later in his life, Koyama Fujio dedicated himself to ceramic creation, producing ceramics in a remarkable range of styles, including shigaraki, mino, bizen, and karatsu. Arakawa Toyozo first met Rosanjin while he was working in Miyanaga Tozan's workshop in Kyoto, and would later join Rosanjin as an assistant, bringing with him his knowledge of mino wares. While working for Rosanjin, Arakawa conducted research on the origins of Shino wares by excavating ancient kilns, eventually making the astonishing discovery that Shino techniques originated in Mino. He established his own kiln in 1933 and helped co-found the Japan Crafts Association in 1955. That same year, he was designated a living national treasure for his work in Shino and Black Seto wares, which angered Rosanjin, who had not yet been so designated. Kaneshige Toyo met Rosanjin following World War II, when Rosanjin visited him at his workshop to learn techniques for bizen wares, of which Kaneshige was the undisputed master. Over years of dedicated experimentation and research, Kaneshige had rediscovered long-lost methods of bizen clay preparation, kiln building, and firing techniques, work that would earn him the designation of Living National Treasure for Bizen Ceramics in 1956. When, at Rosanjin's request, Kaneshige traveled to Kitakamakura to build a Bizan-style kiln for Rosanjin to use, the two men clashed when Rosanjin tried to dictate how the kiln should be loaded for firing. Another student of Kaneshige's, Fujiwara Kei, worked as a writer and poet before turning to ceramics in 1938 at the age of 40. His mastery of Bizan techniques allowed him to create wares distinctly his own, including the representational animal forms for which he was well known. He too followed his teacher as the second living national treasure designated for Bizan wares. Rosanjin met Kawakita Handeishi at a Karahine Kai society meeting. A banker who studied the tea ceremony, calligraphy, painting, poetry, and photography before turning to ceramics full-time at age 50, Kawakita Handeishi self-identified as an amateur, invoking the spirit of passion and playfulness embodied in the famed calligrapher and potter Honnami Koetsu. Kawakita had founded the Karahinekai group, which comprised of himself, Arakawa Toyozo, Kaneshige Toyo, and Hagi master Miwakiwa, as an opportunity to share techniques and learn from one another. Never one to be bogged down by rigid rules, Kawakita created unique and playful tea wares, which nevertheless revealed his deep reverence for Japanese tea tradition. Of all the ceramic artists he surrounded himself with, none rivaled Rosanjin's stylistic breath as much as Kato Tokuro. Born to a family of ceramists, Kato mastered a wide range of traditional techniques, including oribe, yellow seto, iga, and shigaraki. His body of work speaks to the artist's bold, forceful style. It may have been a sense of competitive indignation that led Rosanjin to refuse the designation of living national treasure for Oribe techniques, as Kato's mastery of Oribe had already been honored with the designation of intangible cultural property. Join us for our Asia Week exhibit, Tradition Redefined, Rosanjin and His Rivals, to see for yourself the remarkable body of ceramic art these artists created during their lifetimes.